many of our children are just not in a good mental space, are they? Absolutely. I think so many of our teens, you know, as parents or teachers, we can relate. We've already battled with COVID the last two years. But even before that, our teens struggle. It's a difficult time. And now going to deal with the extra trauma, adjustment, grief, all these things that they're having to deal with on a daily basis makes it incredibly overwhelming. And what we do know in South Africa is that our adolescents, our teens, are the most at-risk age group for suicide. So being aware that our teenagers can have depression and that there are risks for suicide, it's important for us to raise awareness and talk about these issues to prevent one teen from taking their life. Tell me about the link between depression and suicide. So what we know, and this is globally and especially in South Africa, is that the leading contributing factor to suicide is undiagnosed or untreated depression. So depression doesn't just go away. It's not just having a down day or having the blues, but having depression, having those symptoms every single day for two to four weeks, if left untreated, it can lead to thoughts of suicide. It can lead to suicide. So it's so important that we take depression and signs and symptoms of depression very seriously and get help before it escalates to suicide. Current events. Developing stories. Tough questions. Your voice making a difference. This is Breakfast with Bongani Bingwa.